Hello everyone and welcome back to the breakdown how to today I'm going to be teaching you how to set up Google AdSense on your website your WordPress website your HTML website I'm gonna go over both but first a message from our sponsor which is Bluehost all of the websites you were seeing today are actually hosted on Bluehost as long as they're owned by me or one of my companies and that is because we absolutely love Bluehost and use them ourselves you can get an awesome Bluehost hosting account for just six dollars per month so go check it out at the first link down below the breakdown.xyz slash Bluehost again that is the first link down below first First and foremost, we need to create or sign up for a Google AdSense account. Now, here's the deal. I'm not going to go through this setup here because I've already got an AdSense account up and Google, as far as I know, doesn't like you having more than one AdSense account. So I'm going to go ahead and log in to our AdSense account and I'll see you guys once I've done that. And there we go. We have now logged into our AdSense account. And as you can see, this is the dashboard you will see when you log into AdSense here. So if you want to add a new property, what you want to do is go down here to settings and then you want to come over here to where it says my site. You see that? Click on that and then it'll open up this right here. Now this is all the sites currently associated with your AdSense account. If you want to add a new one, just click on the plus button up here and then type in that new URL. In my case, it's going to be nickking.xyz today. Go ahead and click add site there and boom, right here it is. It pops on up. Click on it and we should be able to see that this site is verified. You may have to verify your site via Google Analytics or by throwing a tracking code on your website or something like that if you need to, right? It needs to make sure your website is in fact your website and it knows this one is because we've already verified it with Google Analytics. Nevertheless, how do you add this to your website, right? How do you add AdSense to your website? Well, all we want to do is come up here to where it says My Ads. So click on that and then we want to go ahead and create either an auto ad unit or a new ad unit, right? So this is where it's going to kind of take some choice. Now, some people will want to add in a ad unit and control where all the ads are on their website. I personally wouldn't recommend doing this. We used to do this and our AdSense revenue has went up literally five times since we moved away from adding in all the advertising ourselves using these boxes right here and instead just started running auto ads. And what auto ads are is basically the ability for Google to just put ads on your website where they think it looks good, where they think it's going to work. It hasn't hurt our traffic in search engines. It's actually grown a lot since then. And it hasn't hurt any of our revenue. It's actually improved it. So I would recommend going with auto ads. But if you want to, you can come over here, create an ad unit and you can create a new ad unit and then you can decide what you want, whether you want a text or text ad or display ad, match content. There's so much different stuff here. And see, Google's automatically going to add all of these to your website if you, you know, select auto ads, whereas you have to add these manually. Let's say we wanted to just do a simple display ad. We could name this Nick King dot XYZ display right and then you want to you know check on your size and you can do recommended you can do a horizontal banner a vertical banner let's see about horizontal banner here probably something like this one and then we can do text and display ads or text only text and display typically pay more so that's what I'd recommend going with you can choose your style what it's gonna look like say if it's just a simple text ad I'm actually going to do the minimalist approach there for custom channels, you can come down here and add those if you would like. I'm not going to. And if no ads are available, what do you do? You collapse the ad unit, otherwise show blank space, all that stuff. I'm going to go ahead and do show a blank space. Now, go ahead and get save and get code here. And it's going to successfully create it. And we can go ahead and copy this, right? Then we can come back over into WordPress. This is what we're going to be setting this up on first, by the way. And as you can see here, we are on our WordPress dashboard. I'm just going to add this to a post real quick. So we go into all posts here. We can go ahead and add this to a post. I'm just going to do this one right here, how to create high quality thumbnails for YouTube. Why not? So once you're in here, if you want to add your ads manually, what you'll do is come over and click on the text button over here. And then you just want to come down and just to say right here, we'll throw our ad. So boom, right there is where we're going to put it. Go ahead and update that and it will take a minute to roll out to your website most likely. So while it's doing that, let's go ahead and set up auto ads on this website as well. So we'll go back over here to our WordPress dashboard. And then once we're on that, we need to go back over to Google AdSense here because we need to add auto ad units, right? So we can click on auto ads and then we want to basically come in here and set up auto ads. Then you want to copy this code snippet right here. See this? So just go ahead and copy this 
and then you want to come back over to your WordPress website and it's pretty easy we just want to put this into our head tag well how do you do that well there's a few different ways and depending on your theme it's going to be a little different I'm gonna show you the more complicated way here just so you don't have any issues with it and just so you know it's going to work so what I would recommend doing is coming over to appearance and go down to where it says editor you see that so we click on editor here and this is going to allow us to edit the code on our website right most people don't even know this exists but when you're here all you want to do is find header on the right hand side right so right here it is theme header right so we want to go ahead and click on that and then it will take us off to this where we can see the head tag here right see that where it says head what we want to do is go ahead and right below where it says head this head tag we want to go ahead and space down twice right or three times i'm sorry then up one right so in between these two spaces go ahead and paste that script we got from google analytics now just go ahead and save this by scrolling down and in the bottom left down here click update file and at this point we should be able to go to our website and see that the original ad is in fact set up so let's go ahead open up a new tab go to nickking.xyz which is the website we're using this for it's just kind of like my text website we added our advertisement to this right here so we can click on that and if we scroll down we should in fact see the banner ad so right there is the banner ad it's not set up yet I will go ahead and wait until um, it is set up and then I'll show you it's working at which point you've set up AdSense on your WordPress website and there we go the banner is now added now it doesn't look the best we would need to go in there and center that using center tags and make it look better but the banner is in fact showing up and that is what matters now auto ads are going to start showing up in your content right just at random places and they actually aren't too random they typically make sense but uh, it takes a while for that to roll out up to a couple of hours because Google is analyzing your entire site before it rolls out auto ads so because of that I'm going to show you what auto ads will look like on a website so I'm just going to go to our other website the breakdown.xyz where we have auto ads set up and running if we go to just anything here this is an article on how to it's a Minecraft article right on how to do something in Minecraft and if we go here and scroll down we can see that auto ads is going to be in fact in action so eventually we'll hit some ads like this one down here that we have not added ourselves and there sometimes will be in content ads as well this is an ad we've not added the only advertisements we've added manually to the site are this one here and this one here the rest are automatically added if we go to just the home page right on the home page of this website there will be advertisements and we have not added a single ad to the home page of this website so if we scroll down here we should see this ad right here for example not one we've added Google has added that in scroll down some more same thing with this one Google added that one in it's throughout the entire site they add these advertisements in and it's absolutely great because you sit and forget it right you can let Google optimize it and they obviously want to show as many ads as possible and get the best clicks on your site because that's how they make their money as well so yeah pretty awesome stuff there guys that is how you can set up Google auto ads in addition to Google AdSense and just adding in ads manually on your WordPress website but what about if you want to do it on an HTML website well if you want to do auto ads it's the same thing you come in here and you add this to your head tag right that head tag right there that is what you're gonna do just go ahead add your auto ad script to your head tag and you set it up in the same way just come over here and set up auto ads that's what you click that's simple however if you do not want to do that right if you do not want to set up auto ads you want to come down here to where it says add units and then create a new ad unit for each ad you're going to be running on your website right so go ahead create a new ad unit as you can see we've got a few here the nickking.xyz display here we would just click on get code right under that and then you would take this code and paste it anywhere on your website where you wanted this ad to show up right if you wanted it in your header you would place it in your head tag up there where it's going to look good next to your logo most likely if you wanted to display ad in your content you would go ahead and paste that into your content there and that can even be done on WordPress as we did it earlier so that's how you guys can set up Google Analytics on your website if you have any questions please post them in the comment section down below my name is Nick this has been the breakdown how-to and I'm out guys peace